And here we have my Renault 4 GTL, which means it's an 1100 engine. She's a fantastic little car. Uh, done about 150,000 kilometers. Uh, she runs very well. There's no misfiring. Great acceleration. Uh, she's a 1980 model. And that's her sister over there. She's an 850cc. And um, I'm busy fixing the engine at the moment. As you can see, I keep the engine compartment very clean. She's very well serviced. Um, the only problem which I have is uh, that, which is the vacuum advance unit. Um, I don't believe it's ever worked, but I have bought another one and I'm going to put it in. So we have a light so we can see what we're doing. And because we're working on the electrical system, I've disconnected the battery. And now I'm going to take the distributor cap off. Take out the rotor. And before we do anything, we have to take note of where the little pin fits into that cog. As you can see, it's on the one, two, three, fourth. It's on the fourth space. Now we're taking off this nut, which is a number seven socket. It has little washers behind it as well, so just be careful they don't drop. Nut and a washer. Oh shit. This is one of the best tools I've ever bought. It's a telescopic handle. With a little magnet on the end and as you can see I have collected the washer that dropped below the car. So this connection had the wire from the coil and there's another one which comes from the condenser. And then there's another nut. It with one hand is not that easy. And I have another washer and the rubber washer. And then that sh will just pop out the inside. If you don't have to take it off because that's an easy fitting. And now we take out the coil. It's just one little screw. The coil drops off. One more screw on the other side. And that holds the clip for the distributor cap as well, so... That's what that looks like. And at this point I will take off the tube that is connected to the carburetor on the other side of the engine. And it just slips off, apparently. And here's where it might get a little bit complicated. I've got to take out a, a little clip over here. And I know it's going to shoot all over the place. <sighs> Nearly there. Now I'll use the magnet and just push it off the edge. Okay, very small. And 
now we have to ease that cog upwards and once it's off the pin It will just slide. It will just slide off the uh, off the ring, which is there, and that will just come out. So it actually fits in between. You can see it's double sided. To test that the new vacuum advance unit actually does work, we'll connect a piece of pipe. the inlet and if I suck on it you can see it actually works but if I do the other one the one we've just taken off the car I can suck nothing happens so it's definitely broken you can see the difference between the new one and the one I've taken out. This has got a plastic spacer and that is a sort of transparent tube. And I'm going to change them over because I prefer that. So this can get unwound and I'm going to just count the half turns. One, In. 14, 15, 16. and then this will just slide right off and I'll do the same to the other one well, that came out very quickly I can put this one in the old plastic into the new part now I'll put the washer in new washer and then screw this part in again it has a little thread on the end and I'm going to screw it in 15 times actually quite tight already on eight turns so I'm going to leave it so now I'm going to show you the movement in the points when the vacuum advance unit sucks at higher revs or higher top speed it will suck in this direction and pull this lever that away towards itself and watch what happens to the points it will automatically advance the timing it looks like this um Looks like the hook is a little bit too long, so I'm going to try and turn it in a little bit more. Seven, eight. Okay, that's all the way in. So earlier it was four and now it's another eight turns I 
Okay, that's more censored. That should be fine. Now we've got to get this in. Before you take it out, just check on the direction of these uh, flat parts. And we have to get it onto the fourth hole. Which I'm sure I can adjust at a later stage. Actually, there we go. One, two, three, four. Now I'm just putting this screw in on the side, just so I can keep the unit still. I've put the little clip in there on top of the shaft, which was very stressful. Anyway, it's back. And now I've connected the pipe, a loose pipe to the vacuum advance unit. And if I suck on there, I just want to see the movement. Putting the condenser back on. So we'll connect the points inside. I'll put the rubber washer back on it. And the coil. Actually, I think I had a washer first, if I remember correctly. Washer, coil, and then a nut. Then another washer. Then the condenser. Then another washer and a nut. Shit again. Once again, my magnet saves the day. So now the rotor goes back on. And then the cap. And then the pipe from the carburetor. And that's it. Thanks for watching.